After discovering the existence of a hidden treasure in the city, an orphan girl becomes a legendary royal warrior in order to save the life of the future king. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Pill Adventures, from 2021. An animal goes into town and finds an old beet to eat, then notices that other animals are passing by carrying a juicy piece of meat. He starts following them. The animal goes to a cart where it tries to get the food, but ends up being knocked over by the vehicle's wheel. They climb a giant statue, which the little one tries very hard to scale. Up there, a child is waiting for them, who welcomes the newcomer to be her friend. Pill, Scratcher and Fluffy name the new member of the group Globby, because he swallows the meat sausage in one bite. Soon after, they see Tristan, the king regent, who will rule until Prince Roland is old enough to take the throne. The future king also shows off by skillfully destroying a training dummy using his sharp sword. The girl jumps off the statue with ease, while carrying Globby on her back, and then she grabs a flag and jumps onto the roof of a house, but the animal hits a bell and falls to the ground. Grobert is a guard who always leaves food on top of a trap in order to catch the girl and her friends, believing it to be a goblin. One of the animals strikes a blow with a shovel, and without the man realizing it, the young girl steals the food. Then the guy starts running after her. However, Fluffy knocks over a sign, causing him to fall to the ground, so the horse kicks him and the girl runs away. At the same moment, Lord Tristan appears and draws the guard's attention, who claims that a goblin is stealing the pies. Grobert ends up falling into a hole and a dog drenches him. While Pill and her companions are sharing their lunch, the girl hears voices and realizes that there are several children playing nearby. She helps them retrieve the ball that has been thrown too high, but an adult appears and prevents the youngsters from approaching the goblin. The king regent has no intention of handing over the throne to Roland, and is caught unawares in his chambers destroying a roast chicken he imagined to be the prince. On the 20th birthday of the heir to the throne, the nobility organizes the great coronation banquet, inviting all the local citizens. The girl pretends to be a man and enters the castle grounds, where she and her friends eat everything they can. At the event, musicians and jugglers begin to enter, until one of them falls and everyone laughs. Once again, he steps on one of his balls and slips on the floor. Jiggler is a very clumsy boy who asks his boss to let him use a puppet. However, his supervisor prevents him from using the toy because he often makes bad jokes about the nobles. Pill observes the scene and laughs a lot while hiding behind the well, but ends up being discovered by the red-haired boy. While they are talking, Duchess Leonora, the prince's aunt, arrives on the scene. She tells the young man that his father left him a treasure before he perishes, making Pill curious. She also asks him not to tell Tristan about it. Grobert finds the box of pies. When he puts his hand inside, he gets a bite from the animals. The girl runs to get the box with her friends, and the other guards are alerted. They start shooting arrows at her, who quickly runs to an exit. After climbing up a cable, the girl reaches the roof and enters a dungeon where the Lord is. The girl enters a room full of bizarre things with experiments and greenish potions with the poison symbol. Then she is startled by a skull. Afterwards, the young woman finds a portrait of Tristan together with a sorceress. Globby ends up messing with the pile of bones and accidentally mixing liquids. The substance begins to change color to a purplish hue. Suddenly, the hooded man enters the laboratory, but the invaders hide immediately. The king regent tries to convince Roland to let him rule for a while longer. At that moment, the animals start a fight with his dog. However, the girl manages to capture the dog so that it doesn't make a sound and gives up her hiding place. Soon after, Tristan proposes a toast to the coronation of the new ruler, who gulps down all the liquid he receives, and the man begins to tell the story of a boy who dreamed of being the ruler, but had to become a sorcerer because it was his destiny. Nevertheless, the young man altered his fate by defeating the king with poison, and blamed his sorceress godmother, who was condemned. For this reason, she hid in the cursed forest. Nowadays, the only thing standing in the way of the wizard's reign is the presence of the prince, who then reveals his true intentions. The boy falls to the ground due to the effects of the poison he has ingested and the dog makes a lot of noise, making the man aware of Pill's presence. Faced with this situation, he picks up his sword and begins to strike her several times, who defends herself with a book. They are interrupted when the future ruler of the city begins to transform into a chicken with the body of a cat. While the sorcerer is distracted, the girl throws the book at his face. At that moment, Grobert goes upstairs and sees the prince's transformation. He then starts chasing Pill, who runs down the stairs. The guard runs down the stairs, but ends up bumping into a chandelier that the girl throws to the ground. Nevertheless, he gets up and continues the chase, without realizing that the group are hiding behind a rug. Soon after, the girl offers to help the prince, but wants his father's treasure in exchange for the service. 
Pill puts on a costume to disguise herself as a princess, but is surprised by Grobert asking questions. The young woman tries to reel him in, and Roland, who is hiding in a tray of food, ends up being taken away by the servants. However, the guard realizes his presence and rushes into the main hall. The red-haired boy begins his presentation, but the audience doesn't even laugh at his jokes. When all the citizens are distracted, Pill walks around the hall looking for Roland. Noticing Tristan's presence, the girl asks Jiggler to present his puppet, which makes everyone pay even more attention to the show. He starts making jokes about the nobles and everyone gets angry with him. The man finds the prince on the table, so he tries to get out of the crowd to reach him, at the same time as Grobert is about to capture him. So Pill goes to the window and pulls the rope from the clock, tying it to the chain of the chandelier. Her friends then gnaw on the rope, causing the chandelier to fall on Roland, who is dragged with the dining table to the outside of the hall, falling from the tower. Tristan realizes the presence of the girl and her animals, so he lunges at her, making her jump off the building. The girl falls on top of an old structure and ends up trapped in a wheel together with Grobert, so they ride in the ungoverned vehicle through the city until they suffer a collision. After the accident, the guard tries to capture Roland, but Pill protects him. Jiggler asks to join the girls' group, threatening to reveal her true identity. So they all set off into the cursed forest to find the sorceress. Grobert claims that he knows the way to the place, but is afraid to go there. So Pill, who is still pretending to be a princess, promises to knight him if he helps them on this mission. Along the way, the girl rides along waving to the citizens as if she were real royalty. At the same time, Roland is distracted by a butterfly and ends up jumping off his horse. He heads towards a plantation where some farmers are cutting plants using very sharp blades, leaving everyone worried. He then falls into a basin where a man is stepping on grapes, but his friends come to his rescue. Nevertheless, the prince escapes once again and continues chasing the butterfly, getting stuck in a watermill. Jiggler observes Pill ignoring Grobert's gift, then claims that she is becoming selfish like a nobleman, which makes her rethink her attitudes and thank the guard for the sculpture. Tristan and his henchmen go to a horrifying place where bizarre men watch them in the darkness. He approaches a man who is devouring a piece of meat. The man is a mercenary whom the king wants to hire to put an end to the group of young people. Before the guards can show them the way, they are knocked out by the bandits, so the lord himself decides to guide them. In the dark forest, Pill decides that everyone should split up to have a better chance of finding the sorceress. Jiggler hears an ominous noise and starts walking backwards. He bumps into Grobert, who quickly turns around and strikes the poor boy, causing him to faint. Meanwhile, the girl finds footprints that lead in no direction, as if the person was flying. They don't realize that there is someone behind them in the air. They all turn around quickly, Flabbit the witch switches sides, and when they turn around again they are startled by the bizarre woman. She tries to expel the children from the place, since she doesn't care about the prince and even less about the city of Foggyborough, so she flees in a hurry. However, Pill follows the sorceress to a beautiful tree surrounded by crows. The place is the hut of the witch, who is looking at herself in the mirror and remembering the cruelties that Tristan did to her. Faced with this, she decides to help them, but they must be quick, otherwise the prince will be like that forever. What's more, the woman needs a very special ingredient, the excrement of the unicorn, which can only be found in the Valley of the Beast. She explains the way and tells everyone to stay out of the shadows. The teenagers and Grobert set off on their new mission and Roland stays safely in the treehouse. During the journey, Pill puts on a hood and the guard notices the girl's resemblance to the Foggyborough elf, so Jiggler's puppet ends up revealing who the girl is, but the man doesn't realize that he was telling the truth. They quickly reach the beast's territory, where there are several flags and destroyed armor. Soon after, an animal lunges at the red-haired boy, who believes he is being attacked by the beast. A shepherd appears and claims that there is no unicorn in that place, but the girl spots something colorful in the shadow of the mountain, so Grobert offers to go to the dangerous place to collect the excrement. When the sky darkens, horse ears appear on the shepherd's head, his body begins to increase in size, a tail also appears and he loses consciousness, turning into a huge unicorn. The children run from the monster, but Jiggler is too close to the danger, until he ends up tangling his clothes in the horn, so he is carried away by the creature. However, Pill trips over a stone and falls in front of the unicorn, so Grobert appears with a shield and prevents the enemy from advancing. The guard begins to deliver several blows, not realizing that he is hitting Jiggler. Taking advantage of the distraction, the monster regains his strength and throws them both away. Pill appears and hands her knight a weapon to distract the enemy. Then he mounts one of the sheep and goes on the attack. The animals retrieve the unicorn droppings that were in the middle of the battlefield, but Globby is about to be run over, but the guard manages to divert his opponent's attention, so the girl manages to get the ingredient. 
Grobert then gains momentum and slams his weapon into the ground, causing him to leap to the top of the rock where his companions are. Even so, the monster delivers a powerful headbutt to the rock, causing it to come loose from the ground and them to be thrown down the mountain into the cursed forest. In the witch's hut, she mixes various ingredients in her cauldron and gives the magic potion to the prince, who begins to transform into a human, but ends up without any clothes on. Soon after, Grobert kneels down to be knighted, then Pill picks up a heavy staff from the ground, but at the last second she reveals that she is not a princess, but the elf of Foggyborough. The guard feels hurt at having been deceived in exchange for treasure. Outside the hut, Tristan appears with his army, claiming to have come for the prince. He begins to threaten the group and his mercenaries shoot flaming arrows. Then the king regent is about to fire an arrow at Grobert, so the girl steps forward and receives the projectile in her chest, being thrown over the bridge. Her friends are captured and the man returns to the city. Arriving outside the castle, the lord tells the citizens that the sorceress has captured the prince and poisoned him. What's more, he condemns the prisoners and offers to be the new crowned king, since Roland is no longer alive. In the forest, Pill wakes up and realizes that the arrow in her chest has hit the gift Grobert gave her, freeing her from the wound. Trying to get off the bridge, which is about to collapse, the girl knocks over the wooden sculpture. As she tries to pick it up, she comes across the prince holding on tightly to a rock. She decides to let go of her body and falls straight into the burning tree. Dodging the debris coming towards her, she manages to catch the woman's magic broom. As Roland falls over the cliff, she flies to him and saves him. The two of them capture the animals and leave the place. To find the treasure, they must solve the following riddle. To build the kingdom, one must find where nobility resides. Grobert is about to be attacked, then Pill appears and hits the bandits with her broomstick and her animals help her by hitting the madman. The girl reveals to everyone the truth about Tristan trying to steal the prince's reign. Roland then appears holding a weapon, surprising the man, who distracts the citizens and flees through the only exit in the area. Soon after, Pill frees Grobert and apologizes for deceiving him. The city's soldiers start throwing projectiles through the catapults, hitting houses and even the king's statue, which causes an uproar among the citizens. So the group of friends split up to save the city and defeat the enemies. Grobert and Jiggler climb the fortress wall, while the sorceress and Pill make their way to the tower of the big boss, who makes the dog drink a magic potion, turning the animal into a monster. The guard tricks one of the mercenaries by setting fire to his cloak, so he can open the castle gate so that the citizens can break in and attack their opponents. At the top of the wall, Jiggler destroys one of the catapults while the soldier is distracted, but the guy soon realizes his presence and chases him until the boy hides in a room. At the same time, Pill receives an attack from the dog and falls from the top of the tower, but she holds onto a flag and jumps onto the nearest roof. Even so, the creature continues to spit fire everywhere, making the girl run. Jiggler hides from the guard and something flaming falls on his puppet's head, so he throws it to the ground, hitting a path of gunpowder that ignites in the same minute. The boy holds the door and manages to extinguish the blaze, but throws a bottle of water which causes an even bigger fire. Pill ends up being ambushed, but the sorceress appears with a potion to reverse the monster's transformation. However, she receives a blow, which causes her to fall into a tent on the ground. While distracted, the girl ends up being captured by the creature. On the other hand, Grobert realizes that his friend is in danger and asks for help from Jiggler, who can't move at the moment. The puppet asks to be tied to the door and prevent the guard from passing through, allowing the boy to come out from behind the door and help his friends. In the sky, the Lord threatens the young woman, but is surprised by the three animals that fly over on a broomstick, unleashing several attacks on the man. Meanwhile, Jiggler says goodbye to the puppet and leaves the room. At the same moment, his opponent manages to get in and an explosion occurs, causing the boy to be thrown away. Tristan manages to get rid of the creatures and the dog sets fire to the animal's broom, removing them from the battlefield. The prince defeats a soldier and climbs the bridge, forming a ramp that Grobert uses to fly over on a cannon, so he can catch Pill in the air after she is thrown by the man. The two then fall on top of the king's statue and the animals are thrown in the same place after the broom burns up. The girl hands Grobert the potion, but he receives a blow from the enemy, causing the liquid to spill onto the ground. This makes the guard very sad, so Pill names him her knight. He claims that he always knew she was noble at heart, so the girl discovers the location of the treasure, which is behind the statue's heart. Just as the enemy is about to attack them again, the knight drops the chest from the cliff. At that moment, the man goes after the jewels and the girl takes the opportunity to dip a stuffed animal into the spilled liquid. When he reached the treasure, the man realized that there were only papers inside the compartment. It then returns to the top of the tower, attacking the two. At that moment, 
Pill lures the dog with the contaminated plush and the creature swallows the teddy bear, turning into a normal dog. Suddenly, the statue begins to crumble, causing the group to hold on tight, but Grobert ends up falling. At the same time, Tristan is about to be hit by the rubble, but the prince saves him from the collision and he flees with his henchmen. After the confusion, Jiggler finds Pill safe and sound, but they come across Grobert unconscious. After receiving a hug from the girl, the guard wakes up and the group joins the rest of the citizens. After a while, the sorceress takes on apprentices and the prince oversees the city's new works, the first Foggyborough orphanage, an open library and a hospital, which are the real treasures left by the last king. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.